At the machine, turn on the Hawk and power on the wireless accelerometer. A solid red light on the wireless accelerometer means it is powering up. A solid blue light means the accelerometer is connecting to the Hawk. And a blinking blue light means the two are paired. From the Hawk main screen, the wireless connection can be checked by pressing the battery icon in the lower right hand corner. Select Supervisor. From the machines list, select the potable water pump and press OK. The Hawk collects vibration data from the machine at four machine bearing points. This data should be collected in the following order. 1. The outboard motor bearing. 2. The inboard motor bearing. 3. The inboard pump bearing. 4. The outboard pump bearing. We will start with the outboard motor bearing, bearing number 1. Mount the wireless triaxial sensor at the first bearing location. Press the icon at the top of the Hawk screen and choose the picture that best represents your sensor's orientation. You only need to assign the sensor orientation once per bearing. The sensor orientation will be stored by the Hawk for future measurements of that machine. Note the small engraved X on your wireless sensor and use it to help determine which way your sensor is facing. Choose the orientation and press Save. Now press the Acquisition button to take a measurement at this bearing point. The Hawk screen will prompt you once the measurement is completed. Press the Next button to move forward. Place the accelerometer at the next bearing point and repeat the measurement process until you have measurement data for all four bearing points. After the final measurement is taken, you can select the Diagnosis button and receive an instant diagnosis of the machine's health. To ensure the most accurate diagnosis possible, it is crucial that you have provided the Hawk with an accurate RPM of the machine you are measuring. If the Hawk determines that your RPM seems incorrect, it will ask whether you'd like to re-specify the RPM before displaying the machine diagnosis. Pressing Yes will activate the stroboscope, which you can use to identify your RPM, while pressing No will take you to the machine diagnosis. To send this diagnosis to the Nest and view the full machine report, Watch our touch tip, uploading data to the nest.